Hi, I'm Dr. John Martin with Ivy Family Health Updates. I'm here with my sister, Dr. Catherine Martin, my brother, Dr. Ed Martin, and our special guest today is board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Greg Lovis. Now, Dr. Lovis is a graduate of Dartmouth College and the University of Minnesota Medical School. After that, he did a fellowship in France, followed by a plastic surgery residency in Miami, Florida. And we were talking just a little bit ago about liposuction. And, you know, on the radio, you hear about this laser liposuction, smart liposuction, lots of different words for it. And I was obviously very confused about what it is, and I thought it was regular liposuction. And uh, Greg was telling us that we were all quite wrong in that. In that. So tell us a little bit about it. Is it bloodless? Is it painless? Can I do it and go back to work? that afternoon or is it a marketing is marketing okay. <laughs> um, it's kind of interesting when you mentioned the, the fellowship in France uh, I did a lot of reconstructive and craniofacial surgery but we did our clinic cosmetic surgery and clinics went to me and there was a guy named Eve Lewis and he was the pioneer of liposuction so I was there in 1982 when the board of plastic surgery showed up to discover what liposuction so I've been kind of around following this for a while, and the latest one that you hear uh, touted as a miracle is smart lipo or laser liposuction, which came from an Italian machine, which was, they, call, they call it laser lipolysis. Well, the, the, the good thing is it's an extremely small cannula, kind of like a giant hair, less than the size of a toothpick, and uh, therefore it, it has a very fine, uh, penetration, but there's absolutely no liposuction involved with that machine, the $140,000 machine. Uh, what it does do, because it's a very, very intense laser, it will burn through fat. And actually, you can, in the little demo stage, you can see it boil or melt the fat, just like cooking. And it, but also, <laughs> taking a laser will go through just about anything. And uh, the real use of it is in preparation for the liposuction. Liposuction, of course, removes fat and you have less volume and you want the skin to contract. I think we've all seen or heard about somebody who had maybe just a little too much liposuction and looks wavy gravy to be polite. When you get the ripple, the ripple right. effect, right? Or the, the, the collapse and the sag and, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that hasn't been a perfect science. There's, the, there's been the, 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 the large cannula liposuction, which was in France when I was here. Oh my God, what a weapon of war. Uh, and then they got finer, and then we had ultrasonic liposuction, we have a mechanically assisted liposuction, and we have all these things. But the laser liposuction uh, addresses the concept of healing. And you know, you, you just fall, when you apply the laser liposuction in the area that you're trying to treat, you apply it at just below the surface. Okay. You're heating the dermis, much like many of the uh, uh, cosmetic lasers and uh, uh, thermal devices. And you you watch the laser light under the skin. That's how superficial you are, right? It's cute. They call it heme. Okay. It's a helium neon laser. They call it heme. You can see it tracking under the skin. And you treat the area that you're trying to reduce. Okay. And after you're done treating it, and you apply, if anybody the, the physicist, you know, we apply in an area two to five thousand joules of energy to the area. It's warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then you like the section. So you're shrinking that? Not yet. Do you know it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a kind of a bad analogy, but it's very accurate. We've all also seen somebody who had a terrible burn with a child, whatever, and then their kid pulled down like this. It's the healing process that did that. It's not the actual flame. Mm -hmm. So what you're looking for is a liposuction to remove the line, right. to, to create a space, and then you're counting on the thermal energy on the dermis, the deep tissues, to pull it in. So the process is not immediate, because you're, you're taking the time to heal, which is six months to a year, and you do see a progression from this. And that's similar to laser resurfacing. You don't see it instantly. Yeah. You see it down the road where you get the new collagen synthesis, and that's what tightens your skin and decreases the wrinkles. So it's probably a similar mechanism here of tightening. It takes a few months before you really see the improvement. 
Yes, it's, it's not the laser, it's the healing process. Right. Okay, so... Um, now, there is a misnomer about some of the uh, public or, or uh, very prominent advertising. Uh, it is not for us. People to say that burns through fat, burns through blood vessels. That you, that's why you want this done by somebody who knows where your anatomy is. Okay. Um, and it, it, the, the pain is, is about the same. The recovery is, is there's two parts of recovery. The recovery from liposuction is the same as the recovery from liposuction. But again, we describe the healing, the, 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 the result takes time. And so you're really using two different machines. You use your, your laser to heat the skin, you use your liposuction, and then do you wear like the big garments afterwards to kind of... Compression garments are really good because they, they do mean more. I mean, we have, a, we have a friend who had an injury and wore a, a cervical collar, and he actually looked like he had a face that couldn't work for so long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, anyway, we'll have to have you back to keep us updated on the results with this smart light bulb. But um, it's great to hear because certainly you, you read about it, you hear it advertised on, on the radio and on TV. And I, I would say that the one thing that concerns me is in the wrong hands, you could probably have some pretty significant complications with it. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, so, so be careful and um, choose well. Pick your surgeon wisely. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Greg. Thanks. <laughs>